Hi Virgo, I hope that you're all doing well. Before we get into the reading, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. <sighs> okay, we're starting off with the, the Four of Pentacles. I'm seeing us teetering between two things here. You may be working very hard to hold on to something. And you may be getting at a point where you're trying to evaluate, am I holding on to something that I need to let go of? Like, am I holding too tightly? Am I being too rigid or too stubborn? Or is this going to be worth it to me to really be holding on? Maybe learning to let go, Virgo. This is something that's taking place within a, a within the context of a conversation with someone, you're either working with this person or living with this person. Like this could be a work situation with coworkers and stuff like that. Or this could be with someone that like on a regular basis you're conversating with. This is somebody you're very close close with. Very, very close with. So it looks like this is going one of two ways. Maybe both of these things actually. One, there's something that happened that you feel very, very disappointed by between the two of you. You may be getting to the point where you're admitting that, recognizing that you're going to have a conversation with this person. You may also be getting to a point where you're like, I need to just say this or express it or channel it out somewhere. Even for some of you, if it's not directly to this person, it's like that energy needs to go somewhere so you can finally like go through a release. Because just holding this, I'm seeing you feel so weighed down by this. Yeah, something that you wanted did not go the way that you hoped for it to. I'm seeing there be like a lot of heaviness, a lot of disappointment. Like my hopes were so high within this situation and I feel like I got dropped so low when it came to how things really ended up working out between the two of us. But I wonder too, like I almost get the sense of kind of giving up on needing to have a particular conversation because this may have been something that you kept trying to do and you may be in a spot where you're like, I recognize that I keep doing this over and over again and it's not been successful. But I'm seeing you also not want to feel like you're giving up or quitting. I'm also seeing there be an element of that too. So maybe you're just trying to learn what the best thing is for you to do within this situation. So much. You're definitely like in the air of Mercury right now. Some of you are dealing with a Leo or you have particular Leo placements in your chart that would be related to your interpersonal relationships. Working on being brave, finding the strength to do what needs to be done. Also too, like finding the strength to make it through a situation where you feel really let down. I'm seeing like that be the hardest part is to kind of like rebound from, from feeling maybe like you hit in some ways like a rock bottom within this situation. Because I'm seeing just like so much sadness and like what even is there to do now? What can I do? 
there's there may be like a lot of dwelling that you've been doing too you may kind of find yourself being in that space it feels like there's even something that you're mourning about a connection with somebody and it may feel very difficult because like you recognize the potential of what it could be but things did not live up to your expectations and that's why it feels so difficult. I'm seeing you also be like have so much willpower and be absolutely strong enough to get through this it's just a matter of willingness. And patience, too. Patience with the situation, patience with yourself, nurturing yourself, giving yourself what you need, picking yourself back up. I'm getting stuff about, um, like, flowers. You may be getting back into nature, more into nature, or that may be, like, a, a particular way that you ground. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing you paint or you draw. You may do stuff with like floral designs. I'm even getting stuff about like scents and candles and stuff. Or maybe that's like what you do for mm, when you want to like ground or kind of calm your energy. Maybe you like gravitate towards like candles and stuff like that. It looks like there is a new beginning that you're stepping into, um, but you may feel a bit like your confidence was kind of shaken or knocked by this experience. Like, it really could have had you questioning, like, maybe if I were better in these ways, or if I showed up differently, or if I were like somebody else, things would have worked out within a situation. So it seems like this new beginning is about you finding the confidence within yourself to just be you organically is what I'm hearing and to not be judging yourself because that can absolutely be the shadow of Virgo can be like very very self-critical and um even in a way in a way where it becomes like detrimental to you it can be like fixating on what you see to be your flaws and also like nitpicking at yourself and at other people um which like we all have virgo in our charts we all have the tendency to be doing these things but it may like based off of this you may have like really internalized something and be like blaming yourself is the vibe that i'm getting from this but I'm seeing like this new chapter that you're stepping into. It's giving you like a a renewal to kind of like find yourself and find your sense of confidence. Because I know it's in there. It's just a matter of kind of bringing it forward. And also putting yourself in situations where you feel like that's being recognized. Because that's also what's going to help validate that. It's like if you keep going to somebody that kind of like shuts you down or that like shuns you or that doesn't see you or that doesn't like support you or uplift you or empower you, it's like that is something that most likely, more likely than not, you're going to start taking on that narrative because you're like every time I go to this person looking for validation, I feel like I get the opposite of what I'm looking for. So this is also about putting yourself in situations where you have people that are empowering you where you're putting yourself around people that like see you and that you're connecting with that you're like wow they really see me and they also think like I'm this or I'm that and I'm like believing that about myself because I'm seeing this be like part of a social process for you Where it does look like there's a type of support that you want that you may be like gravitating more towards that you feel like you don't have right now. That seems like it's becoming more important to you. Go easy on yourself. You want to take your time. Even when it comes to getting things off your chest, you want to give this the time and patience that it needs to see where things can go. To allow things to build properly.
for some of you, there's something that you've been seeking within a relationship that you had maybe even convinced yourself, I'm going to find this thing outside of myself. And I'm seeing you get to a point where you're like, I have to find that within me. I'm not going to find that like externally until I find this within myself. But yeah, you could have kind of been like riding on that. Meaning there could have been some sort of dependency between you and another person or just like other people you get close with in general where you're like, I need this thing in order to like have something else that I'm looking for. And then inevitably like things fall apart or it's like um, very short lived how it comes to play out for you. And then you're like, well, where am I going to find that again? But I'm seeing it just be like a karmic loop for you of like finding something, clinging to it, feeling let down, and then trying to search for it again. And it's like this whole thing that's been going on and on and on. And you even being like, this is a dependency of mine. And it's something that just keeps me in this repetitive cycle over and over again, where I keep looking for this thing outside of myself. And then like having that whole cycle again repeat and feeling like let down inevitably and then going through it again it's like up and down and up and down and up and down when meanwhile it's like the whole time this thing that you've been looking for the only place you're really going to find this is internally however i'm seeing there still be this like seeking it also reminds me of um of the notion of having some sort of like spiritual issue where you're trying to find a worldly solution for something and it needs a spiritual solution rather than a worldly solution. And that's really where you're going to find what you're looking for. But you may have been trying to like kind of fill it up. I'm even seeing like a, a car, a vehicle that takes a particular type of gas and it's like the type of fuel that you've been putting inside of it it's not the most effective one it's one that like has the car working kind of funky it's not like lasting as long as it should you have to like refill very often and there's actually something else that you can replace it with that is going to be lasting for you there may have also been like a matter of this being impulsively driven for you too. Like rather than think sitting and thinking about something and, and waiting for an opportunity where you are like fully going to be satiated, you may have just been like grabbing whatever you could in a moment, not thinking about it. And then having these like really fast cycles of like up and down and up and down and up and down where you could have found a more terminal solution had you been like more patient and really looking out for the right thing. So yeah, you may have to like delay gratification in some sense, but that's going to mean that you'll actually find what you're looking for rather than these things that it's like, it even reminds me of like taking just the the thing most conveniently that's passing you by rather than like doing the work of really looking for what you're looking for and then like somehow being disappointed because it's like oh that didn't lead me to where I wanted to go but having this this cycle repeat constantly for you but I'm seeing you get to a point where you're becoming savvy of this aware like oh I gotta switch it up because I keep doing things the same way I keep getting the same results so obviously I need to change what I'm doing if I don't want to be in this cycle anymore I'm hearing this cycle of misery. I'm seeing it really not be something enjoyable. But it. the beautiful thing is that this gives you the opportunity to change because you are reflecting on it. But it's going to definitely take you exercising willpower here. Your willpower, which I'm seeing you be very, very capable of. It's just a matter of actually exercising it when it is quite difficult. Because I'm seeing like... In the past, you could have also come to this realization, if I just practice willpower, that I'm going to be able to transcend this cycle. But if I don't, 
I'm going to repeat it again, but it's like so much easier to just succumb to this. But I'm seeing you be at a point where like if you can kind of hold out, you're going to be able to transcend the cycle and you're not going to have to go through this again. But it's your choice and what you're willing to do. Like, do you want to complete this? Even if it may be um, kind of like a test of your strength. But not even that. It's really just your willpower. Because I'm seeing you have everything you need to not have to repeat this cycle again. You may also be learning, too, like more about yourself and what kind of is like triggering for you. It also, too, looks like something is going to be coming together. You may be bumping into somebody or planning something with someone. I was seeing Aquarius on the bottom of the deck. There may be something that um, you are having the opportunity to, like, even heal from that may have happened in the past that was not completely... Yeah, this is somebody from your past. Things may be unresolved with this person. You have the opportunity. I'm seeing something about a message. Hmm. Let me see if anything else pops out, actually. Yeah, I keep seeing something about potentially, like, having a, a run-in with somebody or hanging out with them. What's going to help you is using your discernment, checking in and asking yourself what is motivating the choices that you're making. I'm looking at the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is like you're in a, a situation and you have the tools that you need to not be in that situation anymore. It's like this. You're at the free throw line and you're about to make the shot and like you've trained for it you've practiced for it if you just throw it up the ball is going to go in the hoop and everything's going to be finished but you're at a spot where you're like i don't really believe in myself so you may not be taking that shot but the only reason that you end up not making the shot it's not because you miss when you try to make it it's because you're not trying at all this is what I'm seeing. So there may be something where you're kind of, you have this like self-defeating narrative where it's like if you would just switch this around and trust yourself and, and believe in yourself, this is something that you're going to be passing with flying colors. It's just a matter of sorting this out. And also too, like the five of pentacles can be a subconscious energy. So you may also be working with that, like maybe a negative self-talk space or like you not realizing, oh, I was really limiting myself. And now there's like a conscious awareness so you can turn things around. Yeah, I'm looking at Pisces. I'm looking at Aquarius. Something that is being worked through, something that's being healed. I'm looking at Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Jupiter, and Pluto. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.